It's so good to have all of you here this afternoon. Thank you so much for coming out to be a part of this amazing moment with Luke and Paige and their families. It's just gonna be a great, great time. So thank you guys so much for coming. These vows are spoken in the sight of all of us here together, but most importantly, in the sight of God. Paige, when I first asked you to be my girlfriend, I knew that you're the one that I wanted to be with forever. Luke, since that day you asked me to be your girlfriend, I wanted to give everything I had to our relationship. I fell in love with your all-encompassing beauty inside and out. I fell in love with your smile and your laugh. And most importantly, I fell in love with how deeply you love and care about me. I promise to keep going the extra miles for you. I promise to always be on your team, to listen and learn from you, to always keep you on your toes. I promise to always laugh with you and lift you up when you are down. And most importantly, I promise to always go on an adventure with you. Lastly, I promise to put God the foundation and center of our marriage together. I am your sriracha and you are my mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and can't wait to marry you, Paige. <laughs> this is the moment. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. Great honor and privilege to announce to you all for the very first time. Mr. and Mrs. 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 wedding. We're so glad you guys are here. One, one request that Paige and I have is that as we go throughout the night, we really want to see everyone. We want to shake everyone's hand. We want to hug you guys just for coming. So if you find us, just come up to us. If we're talking to someone, even if it's just a quick hug. I'm going to kind of describe um, the father's journey. We knew ahead of time it was going to be a girl. And I said, okay, I can accept that. <laughs> But I, I, I still remember when Paige was born and they laid her in the little basket next to the bed and I rubbed her hand and she squeezed my finger. And then it dawned on me as we walked up the aisle today that as I handed Paige over to Luke, she was again holding my finger. Even though Paige is younger than I am, she has always been someone I've looked up to and admired. Paige is the most passionate and loyal person I have ever met. She loves without hesitation and is never scared to stand up for what's right. Even if that means literally fighting someone who doesn't think Michigan State is the best school to ever exist. And I am Luke's college sweetheart. <laughs> Throughout the years, Luke and I have come very close and have been blessed with the opportunity to witness your path in life. Luke's work ethic Passion, charisma, humility are all matched. There's no one out there like you there. It was close to graduation. She said, oh, I want you to meet Luke. You know, and I'm like, okay, who's this guy? <laughs> he comes along and we have a little conversation. And I thought, hmm, nice enough, very polite. When Paige and Luke started dating, it was obvious from the start that they were meant to be. They both complement each other so well. One day I get a text from Luke. Hey Dick, uh, just wondering, maybe you might be able to get together this weekend. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about something. <laughs> be honest with you, I tried to make it as hard on him as I could. And when it was all said and done, he was seeking permission to take Paige's hand in marriage, and obviously I was approving of that. I couldn't think of anybody that would be better. You two are great people. 
but together and with God, you create an amazing union. To wonderful people and to the commitment they have for one another. I love you guys. Cheers. God, we just want you to know today before anything happens here in this place that we give you all of the glory and all of the praise. Thank you that you have created love and that you have created lives to come together to express that love. In Jesus' name.